Want to see my John Denver impersonation? God damn it, I'm a country boy, yeah! Hi everyone, uh, this is George. Hi George, why is the camera in your crotch? I'm just asking. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on, well, an idea of mine. An idea of yours. You have an idea. Is this a new device that the Apple Computing Corporation has just introduced? Buy an idea, a fully digitalized, mechanicalized, inflatable girlfriend. Idea. Or do you mean buy an idea for hoofs? A mechanical, digitalized ruminant that runs around in the forest and is ten times faster than the regular meat and bones deer that also does internet? I deer? I deer? Um, sort of going to stem away from stuff I've been talking about to go to some of the more sciencey stuff that I find fascinating or some of the stuff that as an INTJ I end up pondering at great length in my own head. Garbage in, garbage out. Um, this next video is going to be called Evolution is not a fact, it's a theory. Cherry pie is not a fact, it's a recipe. Now, the reason I'm going to say that is because... Let me guess, you're an uneducated, ignoramus, moron, superstition-filled retard. How close did I get? Let's begin. I often find it amusing how uh, I've come across atheists and they think that... Atheist? The subject is evolution and evolutionary theory and you bring up... Atheist? What the fuck? Christians believe in... Christians believe? The subject, according to your own title on your video, is evolution and evolutionary theory. Christians believe? Atheist? This is science in your head? ...a logical idea. That, and they find it amusing that Christians, and they always laugh at the fact that Christians believe in, in the idea of God. You find it abusing? Abusing. Abusing. I can't even say it the way that you do. What's that? Abusing. 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 No, I didn't work either. You find it amusing that some people laugh at idiotic childish superstitions and the poor bastards that it infects in a video that you said was going to be about evolution and evolutionary theory that's amusing i mean amusing um i find it amusing why do we have a boy in here amusing that they believe... Time out! You're saying that atheists as a group believe something, which is absolutely ridiculous. You can only say that atheists as a group don't believe something. Atheists as a group don't believe anything together. Oh, man. I thought this was about evolution and evolutionary theory. And a lot of them use evolution, evolution theory as the theory of evolution as the reason why. Yes, the reason why atheists feel sorry for people who are infested with occult superstition is because evolution made us that way. If you don't like it, find another planet. Yet, strangely enough, no one has ever seen evolution happen before. You hold on, my friend. Because Dickens? He has a wife, you know. <sighs> Evolution has been observed literally billions of times. Everybody who's out there and pays attention will see evolution happening. It's happening all around us. 
I can go out here in the barnyard and see it happening. Every day I see it happening. Every time a hitch, a chick hatches, evolution has happened. Every time a hen dies, evolution has happened. It is going on everywhere, constantly being observed, measured, weighed, recorded, viewed, studied, examined. Evolution is an observed fact. Anybody who does not observe evolution is fucking blind, stupid, or both. Hmm. Never. Put you to the floor very roughly. Ever. <laughs> There's no observed examples of evolution ever occurring in nature. Except for all of the great many times it's actually been observed, still being observed by the way, something like 300,000 uh, and more papers in PubMed just on evolution being observed. This clown just somehow doesn't know it's being observed as it happens. This clown has never heard of people being born or dying. Therefore, the genome in a population changing, i.e. evolution, 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 this means quotes by the way, I'm not adjusting my filthy hat, evolution, a change in a genome's allele frequencies over time due to differential reproductive success which results in speciation, i.e. evolution, observed happening all the fucking time. <sighs> so, how can you sit there and laugh at a Christian for believing in the idea of God? Idea of God? Your God has an idea? What, it can't get a real girlfriend and has to buy a mechanical one from Apple? I assume it runs Mac software or something? Idea of God? So you're saying it's ridiculous to accept the fact that evolution happens and therefore accept the premise that evolutionary theory is correct, which all of the evidence says it does and is, and yet you accept that a God exists based on absolutely zero observation, zero evidence, zero anything, and you're wondering why people feel sorry for you? When you're an atheist and you believe... You're an atheist and you believe that. That we came from apes. It is an observed fact and not a belief that humans are not only apes but came from apes because every single human alive now was born from their parents who were and are apes. By the way... The person who first lumped human beings in with the other apes was a Christian creationist. And you, you've never seen evolution happen before? You've never seen a woman before? No, a Roman smack. You've never observed it? Hey, genius! How many gods have you observed? That's like me trying to tell you, oh, there's pink elephants that are hold up the earth. Just like gods do. And you automatically believe that. I find it extremely unlikely that there's any scientist out there, let alone your imaginary atheist, who actually believe there's pink elephants holding up the planet. <sighs> Even though I have no way of showing you that there's pink elephants holding up the earth. And you can't show us a god either, you fucking moron! It's that level of irrationality, and I find it amusing. Now, I'm not trying to say that... I'm not really trying to argue the pros or the cons of either, but I'm just trying to point out that atheism is a belief. Bald is a hair color. It's not a fact. Atheism is not a fact. Atheism is not a fact. You heard it here first. Lacking beliefs in the gods is not a fact. It's a belief. 
I'm going to take up a new hobby. It's called not collecting postage stamps. If you're an atheist, you disbelieve in the existence of God. Not just God, clown. God's. 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 Plural. Even God's with ideas. Is a belief. Because you cannot substantiate that God doesn't exist, but nor that you can. The gods not existing is the default. It is the null hypothesis. It is the ground state. One does not need to somehow show any evidence that the gods do not exist. One has to produce evidence that they do exist. Be the first on the planet to do that. What empirical evidence could someone offer? Empirical evidence? It is not the duty of non-believers to produce evidence that the gods do not exist. How about you instead step forward and produce evidence that they do exist? To prove that God doesn't exist. Hey, idiot! Prove Santa Claus does not exist. How could you literally prove that? I only ask what I ask any superstore. What is it that you have got that put you where you are? Oh, 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 I am waking. Yes, I'm a captive fan. I'm dying to see what... I'm sorry. <clears throat>